Hey, morning guys, welcome to Bally Mullen Farm. Hey, a uh, bit, bit of a busy um, morning on the farm here today. Um, I've just finished milking and um, finished doing AB as well. And um, so we've actually got our sheep getting shorn this morning. Um, we've got a flock, what did I, I worked out yesterday, the other day, had a bit of a sort out. I think we're up to 34 now. Uh, that's including uh, ewes and um, this year's lambs and um, our breeding ram. So we started off years ago just with one sheep that we were given by um, Matt Denson who does our dehorning, who's actually um, sharing the sheep for us today. Um, and then we got given a handful of other ones, um, some Arapawas from um, Claire's sister and her husband. And yeah, we decided to hire a ram and they've done some breeding and as things happen when they do breeding, they've suddenly multiplied to be quite a large number. Um, so what we typically do is we, um, up until this year, we've kept all the female um, lambs and we tend to um, castrate the male rams, sorry, the male lambs, and then um, eventually eat them when they're sort of big enough to be eaten. Um, and we're going to do that again this year. Um, also, we had a really good run of um, female uh, lambs this year, so we're actually going to eat a handful of them as well, or else maybe um, you know give some to family and friends, just because we don't need the flock to get too big. Um, you know, 35 is a um, pretty good number for us, really. We probably want to be, you know, keeping around about that 20 breeding ewes more than, you know, we don't really need anything more than that. Um, so, yeah, the sheep are deeper, our very first sheep um, is a Texel, and then we had the Arapawas, and um, I've always wanted um, to have some Suffolk sheep, so we hired a Suffolk ram, um, and we've had some sort of crossbred looking Suffolk sheep, but actually, with the Suffolk Ram and the Arapawas, we've actually ended up with a really cool flock of mostly black sheep. Um, so yeah, which is quite cool. Um, I know that a lot of people always say to us, they look really cool grazing a road paddock when they drive past. Uh, it's still not that common to see black sheep. So yeah, they're really cool. Um, I'll shoot over there shortly and we'll have a look at how Matt and the guys are getting on um, sharing them. Um, also this morning, we're getting our effluent bladder emptied for the first time. Um, so if you've seen um, my previous video, we installed this at the end of last season and um, that is just part of our um, obligations through Fonterra and the Regional Council to have enough storage for effluent. Um, at these months of the time, this, these months of the year where um, it's kind of, well it's probably okay now, but sort of earlier on, you know, um, July, August, where it's too wet to actually um, irrigate straight to pasture. Um, so a uh, yeah, local contract has come with two slurry wagons to empty that. Um, our idea this year, and probably going forward, hopefully, if it works out, is um, to just sort of not use the irrigator anymore. Um, the irrigator, we've, we've been using the irrigator on, it's about sort of 14, 15 hectares, I think, probably a bit more than that. Um, but it's, it's had effluent on it for a long time, and the idea is to, you know, fill up the bladder and then get that effluent um, spread over the rest of the farm with the um, contractors. So yeah, after we've we'll checked out on the sheep, um, how the sheep shearing's going, we'll, I'll shoot back there and, uh, see how the guys are getting on the tractors as well.
Yeah, so here's the final product, some of our lamb from this year. They uh, look so much different once they've been shorn than when they've um, got all their wool on. So a little black one there was mostly black, but he's got some white speckles under him. Uh, so this is our matriarch, this is Sheepa Deeper, our very first sheep. Um, she's getting on a bit now, um, but she's been a really awesome mum, nice and quiet. Really good leader, so if, you, if, if we ever want to shift the sheep, we just move sheep deeper and uh, the rest go really. I think they're actually having a bit of trouble finding their babies because they all look so different and have been shorn. This is one of our very first Aral Pawa sheep. She's actually getting on a bit too. She's had a, quite a few um, babies for us over the years. Um, some of our black lambs. One lamb that decided to escape if he managed to get shorn, so he'll have to get done next time. Yeah, hopefully you can see in the video there at the back, there's actually an Arapawa ram this year with, with full horns. So he's probably only about three months old, so he's grown his horns really quick. Quite a cool New Zealand breed, the Arapawas. So I think the story goes, I'm not 100% sure, but they were, um, I think they started from Merinos that were put on Arapawa Island in the South Island um, by sailors back in I don't know, the early 1800s or whenever and um, they lived on Arapawa Island all those years and eventually became their own breed by sort of interbreeding and uh, line breeding I guess natural line breeding and um, so back in the might have been the 90s early 2000s Doc the, the Department of Conservation were going to cull them all um, obviously for environmental reasons because they're probably damaging the native bush and stuff on the island so there was a, a guy that went down there and actually rescued some and he managed to actually save the breed um, otherwise the breed would have been eventually wiped out I suppose so it's quite a cool story that they kept but yeah they're neat little sheep um, they make really cool brown and white wool um, or yeah eventually brown and white because it gets sun, sun baked but you can see they're a pure black sheep underneath Um, yeah, so Matt um, Denson and his team who share our sheep for us, um, so he owns uh, the company 100 to 1 Mobile Shearing, so he um, goes all around Taranaki shearing sheep, obviously as he says he'll do 100 or he'll do 1, which is really great for people like us with small flocks, especially great with lifestyle block owners who've only got one or two. Um, Matt also does our debutting for us for our calves in um, springtime. He's really um, awesome with animals actually, the whole team are really awesome with animals, um, nice and quiet, really calm, takes a lot of pride in his work, um, you know, which is something really important to us with um, working with young animals, with all animals actually, to make sure that, you know, they're the sort of person who's going to treat them well and treat them like you would treat them yourself. So yeah, if you're in Taranaki and you're looking for having um, a handful of sheep, Sean, check out Matt on Facebook, 101 Mobile Sharing is his name. Anyway guys, thanks heaps for watching, um, yeah, hope you really enjoyed watching a little bit of what's going on here today, the sheep being shorn and uh, the effluent being spread, um, yeah, I was quite excited to get, start getting this effluent spread because, um, yeah, like I said, new bladder just installed um, last season and this is the first time it's been emptied, the guys there seem to be um, doing an awesome job, um, they said that they'll probably take most of today, may have to shoot back just for a little bit tomorrow if they don't quite get done, but uh, yeah, they said the, they really enjoy spreading the um, stuff like that out of a bladder or out of a storage tank that is, um, rather than out of a pond, which can be quite thick, um, it's, it stores a lot better, it's a lot sort of water, watery, so um, it goes on the pasture a lot better, leaves a lot less mess, um, yeah, and it seems to be going on really great. Those paddocks that it's um, going to be spread on um, are, I'm going to shut up for silage now, so um, there's probably about 14 hectares there, they're all shut up. They are um, some really awesome, um, nice square, flat, easy to mow paddocks. Um, really full of clover this year, so um, I think they'll make some really good good silage out of them. Um, yeah, and you should get a really good boost of growth now from the effluent. Um, but yeah, that's everything for today, guys. Thanks for watching as always. Um, yeah, check out the rest of our videos if you haven't already. But uh, for the time being, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.